Hello and welcome to the session in which we will dive into current liabilities. Current liabilities are obviously debt. Liabilities are debt. Debt or obligation that a company needs to pay within one year or within its operating cycle, whichever is longer. We will always assume one year is longer than the operating cycle for our purposes. Specifically, we will be looking at known or certain liabilities. Those liabilities refers to obligations that the company is legally obligated to pay and the amount and timing of that payment are clearly defined or easily measurable. Simply put, those liabilities, we exactly know the amount for them, when are we gonna pay them, and how did they arise? Now, are you saying we have liabilities that are different than this? Yes, we're gonna have contingent and estimated. We'll talk about those later. So these liabilities arise from past transaction or legal agreement. They must be settled typically within cash or other assets with a known time frame. Those are known or certain liabilities. What are some examples of those known or certain liabilities? Accounts payable, sales tax is payable, unearned revenue, notes payable. We will discuss each one of them separately, looking at what are they, defining them, looking at journal entries. And this is what current liabilities are all about. Short-term obligation and a certain amount of payment, we know the time, the time, for example, could be 60 days, 90 days, within six months, and we know exactly the amount to settle, to pay off, or to settle that liability by providing the service. At the end, we would look at a multiple choice question. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. Starting with accounts payable. It's one of the most common accounts that all companies would have. What is accounts payable? Well, it arises when a company purchases goods or services. However, they purchased it and they will pay later. It means they purchase it on credit. And all companies, they will buy goods and services that they will promise the seller to pay them later. As a result, this will create accounts payable. This means the company receives the goods and the services now, but it will pay for the supplier, it will pay the supplier, the vendor, the seller at a later date. And this liability reflect the amount the company owes to its supplier. So if the accounts payable is, you know, 25,000, it means we owe in total 25,000. Now let's take a look at a journal entry to illustrate this concept. Although I am going to be discussing accounts payable, I want you to keep this in mind, that, that liabilities increase on the credit side and they decrease on the debit side. I'm gonna repeat this several times this session. And the reason is I want, I want this idea to stick in your head. When you create a liability, it increases first. You create a liability, then you reduce it later. Well, suppose a company purchases 10,000 worth of inventory on credit. What's the entry? Well, we debit inventory and we credit, and when we credit, we indent, we credit accounts payable 10,000. We also, you know, for example, if we purchase this from, uh, let's assume office supplies, we have a record of office supplies. So what happened now, we created a liability called accounts payable by crediting the accounts payable. Now, eventually, the company will pay off this liability. Once the company pay off the liability, they will send a check, they will credit cash, $10,000, we indent the credit, and they debit accounts payable, they reduce accounts payable, 10,000. Now accounts payable went down, now the balance in accounts payable is zero. So the goal is to eventually get your balance down to zero to pay off your liability. Now assume that they paid 6,000, the remaining balance will be 4,000. So just, I don't want you to think that every time you pay the liability, you pay the whole thing off, but 
in this situation, I am going to make this assumption just to kind of show you that the goal, not the goal, you like to have your liabilities down to zero. That's a good thing. You don't have any liabilities. Let's take a look at another similar liability, similar in a sense that it's a known amount. We know when we're paying it, it's an exact amount. Sales tax is payable. Sales tax is payable represent sales collected from customers at the point of sale, which the company must later send to the government. What does that mean? You go to buy something for $100. When you get to the register, they say you need to pay us $106. And you'd be like, why? Well, there's a tax of $6, 6% 6 tax. This is the same concept as VIT, value added tax. In the US, we call it sales tax. This is what a sales tax is. Now, this amount here, the $6, this amount here, is a liability for the seller. Yes, the store took an additional $6 from you, but that's not the store $6. The company acts as a collecting collection agent or collection agency for the government. All what the business is doing is holding the $6. That's not really theirs, which is a liability. So let's take a look at an example to show you the journal entry. And I'm going to focus on the taxes payable. Assume Home Depot sells material for $6,000 and they collected 5% sales tax. The customer pays in total $6,300. The 300 is the taxes. Let's journalize the entry. We debit cash 6300 We credit sales revenue and we credit sales taxes payable. The sales amount is 6000 and the sales taxes payable is 300 What we just did is created a liability called sales taxes payable. And this is important. This is important in the real world. I'll tell you a, not a funny story, but a story. When I was in practice, one of our customers what he did, he collected the sales taxes payable from his customers, but what he did, he spent this money. He spent this money. He did not keep it in a separate account. The best is to keep it even in a separate account. Collect it, then transfer it to a separate account to pay it to the appropriate government. What this individual did, whether it's intentional, unintentional, ignorance, it doesn't really matter. What he did, he would just go back, buy supplies, spend this money, withdraw it, so on and so forth. And when the sales tax payable became due, well, he did not have the money and he was upset and was like, well, that's not your money. Nevertheless, we kind of explained the issue to him. He was not very happy. So eventually, this the business will have to pay the sales tax as payable. When we pay it, we debit the payable and we credit cash, we debit the payable, and this one will have to be zeroed out because it's the government, the government wants their money. What we did is we zeroed it out. That's another known or precise liability. Let's take a look at another liability called unearned revenues. And we looked at this account when we prepared adjustments, but we're gonna revisit this under current liabilities here. Unearned revenue represent money received by a business before they deliver the service. Again, as I mentioned, when I create, when I explain, not when I create, when I explained unearned revenue, I always say this is a good liability. Why it's a good liability? Because someone gave you the money. You have the money in your hand, and that's what you want. All what you have to do is, in return, provide the service. And that's what you're supposed to do as a business. Provide the service, turn the liability into actual revenue. So it's considered a liability because the business is obligated to provide the service, to deliver the goods, to deliver the product to the customer. Let's take a look at an example. Selena Gomez sells 5 million in tickets for future concert. Great. At the time of the sale, this amount is recorded as unearned revenue. So Selena got the $5 million in her pocket, in her cash account. She will debit cash. She will credit an account called unearned revenue, thus creating a liability called unearned revenues. Then Selena will perform, and let's assume she performs because this was for not one concert. This was for eight total concert. Now, when she performed one 
of the eight concerts because she sold the tickets before she performs but the total of eight concert she can recognize one eighth of five million one eighth of five million which is approximately 12.5 percent not approximately I believe that's the percentage that's 625,000 therefore Selena would reduce would reduce unearned revenue by one eighth and she will credit earned revenue credits are indented by 625 therefore she earned revenue 625 her remaining liability and notice here I kept a balance so I don't want to give I don't want I don't want to give you the impression that all liabilities go down to zero eventually they should when you perform the service but notice here we have a remaining liability of four million three hundred seventy five thousand seventy five thousand and those are examples of known liabilities we know the amount we know the timing we know the purpose we know everything about the liability let's take a look at a multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com which of the following is not true so be careful here they're asking you for a false option so this is easy why because look for the easy correct options eliminate them and what's left will be false it's not true regarding liability a potential future wages to be paid to employees should be recorded as liabilities will potential we're talking here about potential is it for sure no potential is not we have a liability when they actually work for us I would say let's keep this on the side information about liabilities is more useful when the balance sheet identify them as either current or long term yes it's important it's important to differentiate between liabilities as current or long term because in this session we focus on what type of liabilities current liabilities we'll focus on long term and a separate chapter so this is correct therefore for the answer choices it's incorrect liabilities can involve uncertainty in whom to pay yes we could have uncertain liabilities in this session we looked at certain liabilities but we could have uncertain liabilities so also that's correct and as a result the answer is incorrect a, a liability is a probable future payment of assets or services yes a liability is a probable probable means I might have to pay it is that does that exist a probable yes liabilities could be probable because we do have as I mentioned in the intro probable which is contingent liabilities it's probable so also correct potential is not we don't owe anything to our employees until they actually do the work so potential future wages not potential if the employee actually worked then we owe them potential means they might work for us now it's not a liability until they do the work now when we say probable do we do have probable liabilities we're gonna see them later which are called contingent liability so a liability is probable future payment yes probable we're gonna have to make a payment in the future for a liability so the answer is will with the best answer will be a potential is not actual future wages to be paid if the employee worked are liabilities what do you need to do what do you need to do or what should you do go to Farhat lectures look at additional multiple choice to understand current liabilities in depth stay motivated we're gonna go over uncertain liabilities we're gonna cover many other types of liabilities in this session you want to make sure you understand current liabilities from A to Z because we're gonna have current liabilities first then we're gonna look at long-term liabilities stay motivated and good luck